Hey everybody, I'm doing a late night video because I literally just got off of work and I received this package courtesy of Curtis Malone, owner operator of Horizon Creation 3D. There's his business card. Basically what happened was I had a Google Hangouts with my friend Lee and he introduced me to Curtis. Um, and I had recently become familiar with Curtis due to a video that he had posted and was shared by another mutual friend of ours. So we had a Google Hangouts con a conversation, and during that conversation, which, by the way, Curtis is a very humble guy, um, really cool cat, you know, I'm very glad to have met him. Um, but anyway, so during that conversation, and I kind of laugh about it, he was showing me, showing us a piece of terrain, and it kind of broke on him, and I offhandedly, jokingly said, hey, you know, you could send it to me. And he said, okay. And he threw in more plastic for me. So, you know, right off the bat, let me just tell you, I'm not being paid nor endorsed in any way by Curtis. I'm just showing off this really cool stuff. Now, this stuff is miscast and bee pulls. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term, a bee pull is just like miscast. Something is wrong with it that, to his standards, cannot be sold and should not be sold. Me, on the other hand, I love miscast stuff because for those people who actually sell their miscast or their bee pulls, um, it's usually really cheap and it enables us gamers that are on a super tight budget to get the train and we just have to figure out how to fix it or create it or use it for something of our own. So anyway, yeah, this is his info right here. All this here has been showing. So I'm going to show it to you with some models because he said he would love to see how the models would work with 15 millimeter stuff. So I got 15 millimeter and I got some 28 and some larger models here. Anyway, so these are the model list. Um, 15 millimeter up in the front. You know, this is from a not terminator from the scene UK and Ikwin from Loud Ninja Games. ACP Games um, Port Reliant Merc, you know who that is. Salamander Troop right here. Then you know the Carnifex, the 40k Primaris Reaver, and a Death Guard. And this guy, and this guy from Coruscant Miniatures. So, let me show you what he sent me, and I do apologize for the jumbly thing. Now, like I said, these are miscast. Okay, they are not meant to be sold. He hooked me up with them. Totally surprised. It was just one piece, and I'll show you that one piece. So I believe this is a base for like a teleporter or something. Um, as you can see, it, it's messed up. You know, if I was, if I owned a business and I had this, I wouldn't want to sell it either. But if I knew people that wanted B cast, B pulls or miscastings misprints because these are 3d printed I did you know these are 3d printed um i'll probably offer it to them because i already have an idea of what i'm going to do with that so i got two of these um this over here and again it's late so i have to move the camera and the lighting this is a larger version of this i'm believing this is a data terminal terminal that's what i'm going to use it as um but that's a larger version of this um, he sent me four of these. Three of them were broken. This part here was broken. You could kind of tell where I glued it together real quick. Um, so this, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this. Make it into a landing pad of sorts. No, it needs a little work, but hey, that's what we do. This tree also... This is from the uh, bio line, I believe. I know I'm probably saying it wrong, um, but this one too, you can see this piece right here was broken off. I just glued it on and all the tips are broken off of it. Um, What I'm thinking of doing is making this kind of like a spore type thing and just spores are being released. So I just gotta find um, a suitable material that I like to kind of stuff in there and have it coming out. Okay, now this one here, really cool. 
That reminds me of the Carnifax. And you know what? I could be wrong on what this sucker is called. I totally could because, like I said, it is late at night. But yeah, this one is also the same thing. Um, this piece broke off, and I believe there's a little bit more that goes to it because it does have a little edge right there. That's why I haven't glued it on. So I'm going to have to do some green stuff work right there just to fill that gap in a little bit. Um, the great thing with this bio line is with it, with these being a miscast, right away I had the thought of using uh, alien xenomorphs for this type of terrain. And maybe there's something wrong. Something got mutated during the, during the egg laying process. Or the host that carried the alien queen before she was birthed. There was something wrong with it. So everything's kind of wonky. This is pretty new. As If I was reading the website right. Some type of spore thing. Again from the bio line. Um, great potential for this. This is really cool. And these things are like super light. I've only had one experience with 3D printed um, terrain before. Not even terrain. Two 3D printed vehicles that I got. That I'll have to show off later. I'm still working on them. I'm still learning how to do it. But I'm very surprised at how light this stuff is. Um, so it should save a ton on shipping. And of course another thing. More of these weird, weird little things from the byline. Again, it's a miscast. See that one piece is broken there. These little spikes aren't quite spiky. They're kind of rounded off. But again, nothing wrong with a bee pool. Okay, so you're probably wondering back here. These are various meshes that he sent me. Again, you can see obviously they, they got messed up. This one's just kind of warped. Um, I think this will work great as a mask for uh, spray painting on some of my mecha models or things in general. This one's a little bit thicker. I'm not sure I can use it for that purpose, but I have a purpose for this, a very specific purpose, and I will let you know what I do with that. Basically, that's going to involve this stuff right here. And here's another one. It's just a little bit thinner. This may be better as a mesh to for spray painting designs on certain things. So, yeah. Um, basically, yeah, he wanted to get an idea. So, we'll just throw a couple on there. Again, I do apologize for the shakiness of the camera. I love these Ikwin. I can never have enough of these Ikwin. This actually, that actually works really well for the Ikwin. Because they, they do kind of live in like mud huts and mud towers and whatnot. Um, he also sent me, and let's fix this light, a whole bunch of these rivet bands. Here we go. These are exactly... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches long. Very bendable. Very nice. Got a couple of those there. And he sent me some of these ladders. Again, varying thickness. Really cool. That'll work for my D&D game. This, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. I think it's like a lamppost. Doesn't matter. It's cool. Actually, you know what? I will use this as a docking port, a docking assembly for uh, an airship that I plan to build for my kids' D&D game. That's what this can be. Or an arresting hook. Oh, yeah, there we go. Flip it upside down. It'll flip down. Boom. Arresting hook. There we go. That'll work. That's cool. All right. But the big thing, I'm not sure my camera's going to get it. I don't want to switch to long view. This sucker here, this is what broke. It actually broke right here. And I'm not going to say why it broke, but it broke when we were speaking. This thing is 19 inches tall. That should give you an idea of how big this is. And it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Again, it is a miscast or misprint. But I'm going to be able to use it. I'm 
really going to be able to use it. Um, one thing that really caught my eye is in the design. Um, put it like this. I'm trying to get it in there. Pretty long, right? If this bottom part that I'm kind of tapping on, if this was just flat, you can attach this to forearm armor. This would be really good as a cosplay piece or forearm blade. I mean, it's it's huge, 19 inches tall, and just really big and super 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 light. So Curtis, if you're seeing this, this this would be a great cosplay prop. To be honest, with a little bit of modification, um, because you know, but this part arcing over, um, it's not going to work for the forearm. But yeah, this would be a great cosplay prop. So two things in one. Not bad. So yeah, there we go. And then we got this. I'm thinking this was a base and something went wrong because it looks like it went messed up right there. Right there. But I'm going to use this as a base for what I'm not sure yet. I'm fairly certain it's going to end up being a mecha. Probably one of my Gundams. It's rather thin. Which again, isn't a big deal. I'll just put something underneath it. Strengthen it up a bit. Yeah, so all in all, even though these are misprints, um, I honestly, I recommend hooking up with the Horizon Creation 3D. These are some awesome, awesome pieces of terrain. Again, Curtis, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I will work on them. And for those wondering, no, this is not the commercial commission I've been talking about for a while. I've had some issues, mostly related to the weather. And... Just slightly with the with the models themselves, they they're print they're excellent. Don't get me wrong, they're excellent. They're cast excellently. They're made out of resin. Um, but there is like very little texture, so they're super smooth. Everything has to be airbrushed, and I was not anticipating that. So yeah, more on that later once I get closer to actually completing those. They're like eighty percent complete. I'm just having a tough time adding effects, and I may have to strip them down and start over again. So yeah, there we go. Horizon Creation 3D. You can find them on Facebook. They've got a uh, web store up and open, and also eBay. They've got an eBay store. All right, guys, take it easy. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of a probably a dull video for the most part, not what I usually put up, but I just had to share this with you because this is like super, super, super cool. All right, take it easy, guys.